Yes, indeed. Welcome back. It is Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Why in the Morning on White 54 Channel, your favorite breakfast show. Now for our last interview of Entrepreneurship Tuesday. By the way, if you do want to make any comments and contributions uh, based on even the other guests that we've had here, make sure you do slide into our DM at White 54 Channel on Twitter, hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. If you'd like to be more specific, hashtag Entrepreneurship, uh, hashtag Why in the Morning. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On Instagram, we're at Y254 underscore channel. And on DSTV, we are channel 376 on Signet 824 on Star Times 54. So do feel free to delve into the conversation. So yes, my name is Hilda Wadidi. And for our last interview of the day, we are featuring Pimp My Ride. You know, today we have somebody who makes sure your motorcycle, if you like to ride on the two wheelers or the others, please today pay attention, pay attention. There are some young people who are making money out of making your ride smoother and cooler for you. Anyway, do make sure you slide into our dm and talk to us but anyway joseph jogona please say good morning to white five four family for the first time uh, first and foremost i'd like to thank you for having me on the show mm -hmm. yes uh, i'm joseph mm -hmm. and uh, a good morning to everyone mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. yeah. from bike moto graphics bike moto graphics yes, uh -huh. that's right yeah bike moto graphics tell me about how this company came into me uh bike moto graphics actually is uh it's i'll call it a subsidiary of a couple of other companies but uh, we've been in the branding business for a while mm -hmm. and the printing business mm -hmm. and it got to a point where we felt how can we add value to whatever it is we're doing and printing out there and how can we add value in a more creative kind of way mm -hmm. so how can you add value oh. in a more creative kind of way mm -hmm. it's like an analogy where you can have a cow for the first time and you're so happy you have a cow and it's giving you milk mm -hmm. then you realize I can actually make yogurt from this milk. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, it was more or less a uh -huh. uh, thought that came by because uh, we were printing a lot of these stickers and wraps for, for bikes. Mm -hmm. And we thought, fine, let's actually start doing it and actually pimping these bikes, mm -hmm. not just with the, with the look. Mm -hmm. also, it just also coming to a point where we can actually do the sound of the bike, the lights of the bike, mm -hmm. the exhaust system, mm -hmm. also going a bit bizarre and even probably adding screens to the bike and such stuff. Yeah. Well, let, we'll go to the adding screens a bit later, but uh, there's someone who has uh, picked my curiosity and they asked um, the kind of bikes that you pimp. Uh, basically, we pimp all kinds of bikes, mm -hmm. the two-wheelers, the four-wheelers, mm -hmm. but uh, our huge target market, even when we're doing our, our online campaigns and our online marketing, mm -hmm. it's mostly the guys who are using these bikes as boda bodas, the mm -hmm. low-end bikes, because mm -hmm. There's a huge market for that. Mm -hmm. And you find that most of these bikes are being used for transport purposes. Mm -hmm. And you've seen like the way most people will get into a matatu because it looks good. Yes. It's the same way someone will hop onto a Boda Boda or Randuzi because it looks good. It has some good graphics on it. It's ideally, it's more of uh, marketing and branding for these Randuzi guys to mm -hmm. make them even earn more money by just standing there at the stage and attracting guys to actually come onto those Randuzis and make a living out of it at the end of the day yeah. well well, well, well mm, there's something i found very interesting which is um speakers uh screens um does it, don't you believe that that might pose a threat to our security or, or safety <laughs> uh i don't think it's any threat because uh -huh. ideally even people driving cars mm -hmm. even people in matatu is also listening to to music Mm -hmm. So I don't see what's the difference or what's wrong with someone listening to music when, on the, when they're on a or a Buddha Buddha because mm -hmm. that doesn't impair anyone's vision or anyone's capability to do, to mm -hmm. ride the bike. So yeah. was it for the so was it for the rider or the driver or the passenger? It's actually for both because uh. you find that it's very interesting that um, we, we we get all kinds of uh, customers and clients. There are those who are doing it for their own personal satisfaction. Mm -hmm. There are those who are doing it to attract more clients or customers. Mm -hmm. So it works both ways. And everyone wants to have or drive something unique home at the end of the day. And mm -hmm. it's, it's more or less like the Matatu culture, the street culture. Mm -hmm. If you have a good bike, a bike that's motor, as people would say, bike ni motor. Okay. Really talk about From it bike motor and, graphics. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. So, in a nutshell, it's, it's, it works both ways, yeah. Okay, considering yeah. that this is fairly new in the market, like uh, pimp, pimp my bike, you know, like pimp my ride, whatever. Um, how was it received by the 
by the by the by the bikers let me put it like that did they were they welcoming were they like oh this is expensive what kind of feedback did you get in fact you'd actually be shocked that it's actually not that expensive mm -hmm. but the feedback has been overwhelming mm -hmm. and uh, the feedback has been so good to a point we actually feel that we might actually let some of our fans or clients down because there's some people who are all the way in Kisumu, Turkana, Lodwa, they all want these services and oh. we tell them you're based in Nairobi and it's kind of heartbreaking to them. So eventually as, a, as, a, as an expansion kind of project, mm -hmm. we'll want to one day have like a mobile workshop where we can actually carry some of these things across Kenya and just make this like an entire kind of movement mm -hmm. where like do this can just look good and people can just appreciate that the same way people appreciate the matatus on the streets to a point it gets to an international kind of uh, status i think do this can also uh, match up to the same oh yeah, yeah. well that's interesting but um <coughs> I wanted to ask about competition because it appears you guys are actually expanding even more than, well, faster than you had thought. <laughs> Rather, let me put it like that. So, what? How are you dealing with competition, and have you encountered any competition? Now that you've said that the demand for this mm. is increasing countrywide, yeah. have you seen other people try to do the same, and how are you dealing with it? Uh, there are a couple of people who are doing it, mm -hmm. but you see the. What, what makes a difference in the kind of work you're doing and what the competitors are doing is the quality of work you. You, you you kind of deliver to, mm -hmm. your, to your customers. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wouldn't call it in terms of, I wouldn't say that I would, how we're going to deal with competition. In fact, competition is good. If you're alone in the market, you'll just get comfortable and you won't have that enthusiasm to do something better, something more creative. So in fact, the competition is welcome and at the end of the day, you really can't pimp all and do this in this country. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a one man's job. Yeah. All right, I like that. Competition yeah. is, is good for you. Yeah, it's good for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's talk about how you got yourself out there. How did you get yourself known? Uh, as Bike Moto, let mm -hmm. me talk about Bike Moto because mm -hmm. I've been a serial entrepreneur in the past, a couple of other things I've done in the past. But mm -hmm. as Bike Moto, mm -hmm. I, I have a very strong background in uh, digital marketing and mm -hmm. understanding how to sell a product. Mm -hmm. So ideally for me, I knew this is kind of a consumer kind of product mm -hmm. and most of these consumers are on social media. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest avenues to find these consumers. So. Uh, we sat down with my team because uh, I don't work alone. I have a team of creative guys who come up with these creative concepts and we do the actual work and deliver the, the, the end product. So we sat down and actually realized that an online campaign is something that we have to probably invest time and a bit of money in to actually reach out to the guys who don't know us or the guys who we want to reach in future. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So how big is your team? Now that you have the digital marketing background, how many are you at, bi at Bike Moto Graphics? How, is it a company fully fledged? Uh, it's fully fledged because mm -hmm. you can imagine in, in a day if you get a number of about 8 to 10 bikes mm -hmm. and our principle is that no bike uh, spends the night. We all have to finish. The bikes that come within that day, we have to finish that work. So Wait, so this is a 24-hour thing? Like uh, if I take my bike there with my ideas? Wait. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you see, at the end of the day, a person who's bringing their bike, mm -hmm. this is their source of income. Yeah. And they're doing this uh, so that they can probably get more income out of it. So mm -hmm. if you keep their bike there for two, three days, really, it's kind of inconveniencing to them. So mm -hmm. you find that sometimes uh, doing a bike is, is, is quite a bit of work. Because yeah. it's not just, it involves a bit of paint work, it involves a bit of... Uh, a bit of design, mm -hmm. it also involves a bit of now the, the wrapping of the stickers mm -hmm. and also now the finishing of the bike. Because mm -hmm. we do quite a number of other things. You can, someone can want like, to have a spoiler on the bike, customized plates on the bike other than the normal NTSC, na NTSC number plates. Mm -hmm. So you definitely have to have a team of a minimum of four guys a day working. On one bike? Not on one bike. Mm. Like when you open the office in the morning, at least you have to have at least four people to handle any kind of work that would, 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 would come in that day. But if the number increases, of course, the, the guys who freelance uh, some of these services, like uh, guys who are good at spray painting, guys who are good at doing some, some wraps on their bikes. Yeah. So does that mean that you have a headquarters, like a place in, in specific, yeah, a physical it's location? It's a physical location. Mm -hmm. uh, the business is not Juakali. It's a place where a bike can come, get into a workshop. Mm -hmm. The bike is secure, it's safe. And uh, 
Yeah, and the bike is worked on and it leaves the workshop. Yeah. Well, when you're, when you're thinking about how to make this bike, what are some of the factors that you look at? Is, do you look at the weight of the bike? Like, wh what is it? Do you look at the size? Do you see like, oh, this one can have a screen, this one can have a speaker, this one can... What are some of the factors you take into consideration once I've brought my bike there? Who are? Okay, funny enough, you'll find that most of the guys who bring their bikes there actually don't know what they want. So you ask someone, okay, what, what kind of music do you like? What mm -hmm. do you like? Uh, what kind of mov movies do you like? And all that. So you kind of get to understand this person more, oh. what they're into. Wait, uh, so you actually speak to the driver or the, or the yeah, rider first? The rider first. Uh -huh. He comes into the, to the office, he has a seat, and you get to know a bit about him, mm -hmm. like what he likes. Is, is he guy who, does he like reggae? Does he like hip-hop? Does he like... Is he a guy who's into movies? Is he... You know, uh -huh. so you find that even when you look at our page, we do all kinds of bikes. There are bikes that are like can come up with a concept like Venom, mm -hmm. can come up with a concept like a hip hop artist. And so once you are, get to understand that, you, you sit down, you do the design, then of course you give the bike an identity. Mm -hmm. So it's such that one of our, uh, one of our other rules is that we, there's no day we'll ever do a bike that is similar to a, a bike we've done previously. Wow, so, so that must be do, quite a challenge. Yeah, uh -huh. So everything we do has to be brand new. Everything has to be based on a new concept. Mm -hmm. So you give a bike an identity and yeah, and you make the rider buy into that identity and he, he, he actually appreciates the work at the end of it all. I can hear yeah. a lot of he he he. I would like to I'd like to I'd like to hear your response from the female bikers as well. If you've had any and if you've had to pimp a female uh, a female rider's bike because I know their dynamics are completely different. But <laughs> someone is actually asking about um uh, your location. The, where is it actually in specific? Uh, the location is uh, just past current shopping center towards Ngong. Mm -hmm. There's a place called uh, Bull Bull, mm -hmm. and you'll see our signboard along on the left side as you're. Uh, towards Ngong mm -hmm. and uh, that's where we are located. Uh, uh, there's a building that does the print and branding where we also do our other activities mm -hmm. and that's where Bike Moto is located. Okay, I hope I hope whoever was asking you have gotten your response. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the female bikers. Mm. Please tell me your encounter. Uh, at the workshop we've never had a female biker what? come personally uh -huh. riding the bike uh -huh. but uh, we've had occasions where female owners of bikes have mm -hmm. sent their bikes there to mm -hmm. our workshop and mm -hmm. even uh, some of, of our work when you actually see some of the bikes we don't use like some of these uh, subtle colors like pink luminous green yes most of the appreciation actually comes from females oh. who think the bike looks cute and all that and <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh -huh. yeah so but i think uh, moving on i think considering mm -hmm. they're also female uh, bikers and female riders, mm. I think it's something we'll come to experience in the near future. So yeah. that's something you also want to look into. Yeah. Does your staff contain any women? Just by, just asking. Yeah, currently we have uh, uh -huh. one woman, but she's not actively involved in the, in, uh -huh. the, in the biking department of it and the pimping of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, eventually as a business, I know even uh, women have very good creative ideas mm -hmm. and they are very keen to detail. Mm -hmm. So having a woman on the team or a lady on the team would also be a big plus and a big win for us, especially mm. someone who's interested in art and all that. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Yeah. There's job opportunity coming through. All right. So we have an example of, of uh, some of the bikes. Oh, who is that? I can see this is a reggae thing. Uh, so this <laughs> was like a bike uh -huh. of some guy who wanted, he was really into reggae. Mm -hmm. And I think that's... Uh, Carpelton and I think Gujubanton. So we did a bit of uh, uh, picking up some images and some design work. Well, this green. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> uh, some some guys love the green because of the <laughs> maybe someone's lifestyle. Someone's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is based on the energy drink monster. Yeah. I hope monster paid this person <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this one looks a bit cheekish. The, this is the based pink on one. the movie Venom. Uh huh. Yeah, so it's okay. You know ideally, that you can just do anything. That how you wake up that day and how your creativity levels are. You can just decide to just go bazaar and. You know, you've said that once you've done something, you don't repeat it on yeah. another bike. So that Venom is now gone. There's no. If I wanted to do it on my uh, bike, we've done Venom twice, but it's not the same. Uh, graffiti or the same artwork. Oh. It's the same concept but totally different uh, uh -huh. concept, totally different design.
Or, so yeah. you can do something again, but you'll just have to revamp the style yeah. in which you did it yeah, if someone yeah. is interested in yeah. it. I can see Chris Brown here, and I just remember a lady who's just left from Mariana Bakery, <laughs> who named her bakery after one yeah, Chris Brown. She probably want to ride in this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it appears. Okay. Yellow, yellow. Mm. With Khalifa. Oh. With Khalifa. With Khalifa. The black and yellow. I can see the color themes here. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about uh, some of the challenges that you've experienced as entering or introducing a new product to a market that has never had this. What are some of the challenges that you can say you have experienced now that you're a pioneer? Uh, honestly, uh, I'd say that the, the biggest challenge would not be in terms of uh, penetrating the market because mm -hmm. this is something and this is something that someone sees they totally appreciate mm -hmm. and they love it. But now the biggest challenge I'd say at this point would be probably uh, there's a huge market outside Nairobi mm -hmm. and there are people who are dying to get their bikes looking like this. Mm -hmm. So the logistical aspect of it, of like moving outside the workshop, outside the workshop and actually going to some of these people is one of the biggest challenges we're facing right now because mm -hmm. th there's a huge potential, a huge market for guys wanting this kind of work done mm -hmm. to their bikes from Mombasa to Kisumu. Mm -hmm east to west from north to south it's it's everywhere so in terms of reception in terms of it's a new product that people love mm -hmm. yeah so after 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 all is said and done and mm. the competition is now taking over what do you plan to do in terms of diversification what's the next great idea when it comes to building on this brand uh with this uh, brand you see you might when you look at it holistically and when you look at it from a bigger perspective, you see when a bike is branded, that is like a moving billboard. Even when you look, when you even talk to big corporates like Safaricom or this large telcos. And advertising. The, it can actually be a very big advertising oh. opportunity for huge corporates where they like uh, uh, probably rent out uh, a number of bikes a month and have them branded according to how they want them branded. and. This sells their message across the board. Yeah, so other than just pimping and making bikes look good, and mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's a whole other dimension yes. that you can have a look at it in terms of branding, because branding is branding, branding is selling. Okay. Selling is business. Selling, yeah. branding, advertisement is business mm -hmm. in itself. Yeah. Oh, so that's how you plan to go in future. That's very interesting. But it's about time we conclude this segment. And uh, before I ask you to, to make sure you give us maybe some word of encouragement, maybe for someone at home who wants to do this, let's talk about your startup, your startup capital. What, what raw materials do you need if you want to do something like this? Uh, definitely for such kind of a thing, you need, of course, something we call a large format printer mm -hmm. to print the wraps. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need to have uh, a a small kind of uh, painting kind of setups, spray painting. Uh -huh. And also you need to have very good uh, creative uh, manpower mm -hmm. that will be able to deliver these concepts mm -hmm. as, as they should. Because uh, there, there's a concept I'll be able to deliver well, but mm -hmm. there's another person on my team who'll be able to deliver a certain concept better. Mm -hmm. So it's all about synergy. So in terms of capital, probably it's more what is most... Uh, 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 cost intensive is the the, the printers mm -hmm. and uh, probably the the the, the, the whole uh, spray painting outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what is uh, that could be exactly <laughs> yeah. defined as costly. That's ca that's what we can call it is is is, is uh, a bit costly. But I can see a lot of creativity involved and manpower and being just yeah. able to execute your ideas. If you love it, follow it. The yeah. money will follow. Yeah, because mm -hmm. ideally, when you do something, because you have yes. to get money. Mm -hmm. It's more of patience and hard work. If is that your word of advice? Is that yeah. your parting shot? Uh -huh. uh, mostly what I would tell entrepreneurs uh -huh. even on this forum or any other forum is mostly what people lack is patience. You might be very hard working and all that and, mm -hmm. and just because you're not patient enough, that's where the frustration sets in. Okay. And, uh, and, the, and, the, and the feeling of that this is not working as it should work, but mm -hmm. it's just a matter of time before it's, it's, it opens up and everything works out too. Wow. You know, yeah. Patience. Don't get frustrated halfway. Yeah, because everyone will tell you to work hard, which uh -huh. is obvious, but not everyone is as patient. All yeah. right. Asante Sano. So it's about time we say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My Bike Motor Graphics has been with us in studio. So please tell them your social media handles as well. Okay, Bike Motor Graphics is on Facebook as uh, Bike Motor Graphics. On Instagram, it's uh, at bikemoto254. Mm -hmm. Yes, and our phone line is 0780-112474. Mm -hmm.
Asante sana Joseph for coming and sharing with us this magnificent idea and the creativity behind it. So if you want to pimp your ride or pimp your bike, make sure you just slide into their DM and talk to Kina Joseph Fale Bike Motor Graphics. Thank you so much for tuning in to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Hilda Wadidi. I hope you do have yourself a lovely day. And yes, please uh, do carry an umbrella. Kuna venye the rains are finally here. Okay, goodbye.